quick five minute video on how to add Home Control 2.0 to your phone. It's available on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You search for Home Control 2.0 by Pyronix. Download that, I've already downloaded it here. Click open. Message will pop up asking whether you would like to receive notifications. Click allow. Click accept a privacy policy and terms. If you get a message regarding geofencing, you can allow or disallow. Geofencing is available if you want to get a notification if you leave your home area without arming the system. Once we get past that, we're at the home screen. Nothing added yet. So to add your security system, click plus. Pyronix have added this recently. Just click next, click finish. We're going to use the top option here, add new security system. And it will ask you for a device name. Give your device a unique name. If you've used the app before and you already have an account, perhaps if you've changed phone, give the device a different name to what you used last time. That way the old device can be deleted from your account and there's no confusion. I have known issues where notifications have not come through to the new phone when a user's used the same name. So I'm just gonna call this one John iPhone. And click next. A little glitch there, it's popped off the screen, but I'll just click add new security system again. Three options to add the panel, system ID, QR code or short code. Only the first one, system ID, is currently available. The Enforcer X panel range aren't available as yet. And click on that. Now at that point, it's actually asking for the system name. It's not asking for the system ID at this point. I see a lot of instances where after clicking enter by system ID and this box pop popping up, people put the system ID in there. It's asking you for a name for the system. So I'll just enter my demo name system here. Click continue. Now it's asking from the system ID. You may have numbers in this if you've got a Euro 46 panel. If it's an enforcer, it's likely to be just letters. One thing to note is there are no ones and zeros anywhere in the system ID. If you think it's a one, it's actually a capital I. And if you think it's a zero, it's actually a capital O for Oscar. So we'll key in the system ID at this point. And click next. If you didn't have the system ID or password, they are available on the control panel. You can retrieve those details at the keypad. I'll leave a note under this video on how to find those details. So we can see now my system's on the home screen. I click on it. We've not yet connected. So the first thing to do is click the switch across next to save user code and save that password. All that will do is it will use the biometrics on your phone, whether you're using fingerprint or pin code or face ID and just save you entering these details every time you go into the app. Tap in the user code and whatever you've got saved is your app password. And click login. And that's it. If you put the details in correctly, you should now see your system with any areas, whether they're armed or disarmed. If for any reason it fails to connect, sometimes it says check internet connection. It may not be the internet connection. If you actually put the wrong password in, you'll get a similar message as well. So just make sure you change those details. And that's it. Thanks for watching.